Hello and good afternoon, good morning, good evening to wherever you, wherever you are. This is the Remodulator and I am currently overseas at the moment. However, nevertheless, I do have the time to talk to you about the current event. And the current event is a new concept, although... I understand people will be dubious and think that it is a lot like the Halloween event from last year. Nevertheless, we shall talk to it together, about it together. Um, it is called the history event. So, um, the so before we get into the in-game Mechan the mini guy mechanics. We uh, need to talk about the prizes first. The prizes are the grow. Um, this is a little too. The prize is a little too complex. Okay. Okay. The event prize is the Ascendant Growth Sanctuary. It's got uh, seven in, on its base kit. It's got seven levels, so it gives around you know blue stats for blue attacking stats for attacking army. Um, in your regular stats and in guild expeditions, it also gives uh, coins, medals, goods from previous age. Goods of current age, forge points. Uh, okay, five fragments of the silver kit, and one one fragment of the mini building or something, whatever you call it. It's exclusive to buildings from this event, per se. So the. Silver kit, the Surgeon Grove Sanctuary, obviously gives more. Um, okay, I think I missed out something. Okay, the base kit, level 7, it, it also has a random production. There's a forge point packages. However, you know, the base kit has a bigger likelihood for small forge packets. packets. However, the Surgeon Grove Sanctuary, the Silver Kit, um, rather, you have a um, bigger chance for medium forge point package. And you know, it also obviously gives more goods, uh, forge points, medals, coins, and taking stats. Oh, yeah, and also forgot, um, there's also blue stats, defensive, defensive stats for defending army. Although, yeah, the... It's good. It's the bulk of it will be applied more on guild expeditions. Okay, this one has. Okay, this building is four by six. Across a road. Okay, now the go the the uh, gold kit. Um. It uh, give, obviously gives far more in terms of coins, goods, attacking army, attack for attacking army stats, defense for defensive army stats, uh, coins, medals, goods of previous age, goods of current age, forge points. Also now gives uh, fragments of uh, of two build of couple of buildings that are exclusive to this event. To, or buildings from this event rather now what are the buildings that are unique okay so first unique building is the silk weavers emporium okay so this is starting to get a little complicated okay it gives uh, attacking army stat, attacking army stats, um, red stats, 
but you get stats for your regular attacking army, red stats for your guild expedition army, then you know blue stats for your blue blue stats for your regular defensive army and for the first time ever attack and defense stats for your attacking army in guild battlegrounds. Obviously it gives uh, medals, forge points, goods and uh, also this Tranquil Trio selection kit. I don't know which one is the Tranquil Trio selection kit. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, random production. This one gives I don't know, a garrison. Fragments of a garrison. So, yeah, Mortar Garrison. Does this thing have an upgrade kit? Mortar Garrison. Okay, yeah, Tranquil Trio. I think this is. Gives, you know, Lilac Garden and Ethereal Fountain. The uh, Lilac Garden is. Uh, 4 by 2 that's a level 2 version so it gives attack and defense for attacking army and also attack for your good battlegrounds army material fountains gives blue stats defensive blue stats for defending army woods of previous search and forge points material fountain level 2 okay it gives a little more coins woods of previous age and forge points however it costs and of course, the seventy people population. Now um, we, we we need to find the garrison. With did are there any garrison? Jesus, I can't even find it. Anyway, then the next, the next great, the next um. Building that's unique to this uh, event is the Bastion Guide House. So it gives uh, red attacking red stats for your attacking army, as well as defense, as well as blue and red defensive stats for your attacking army and defending army and guild expeditions. So production wise, it gives um, hundred uh, it gives medals, forge points. And, was the previous age random production is uh, um, seventy four percent. I think have a bigger chance to get a special pro special product finish special production fragment than the goods production fragment. Anyway, I'm just probably reading this out here. So, um, okay. So the ev shit the event. As to currencies, battle coins and battle tickets. From the way I now see it, um, battle tickets helps start the first battle. I think one well, no, no. Let's let's see. Oh no! I guess I, I guess I was wrong. Got a, f I guess I was wrong. Got a fart. What is this thing? Okay. Okay, I guess I was wrong with the battle with the uh, battle tickets part, but and this is starting to look okay. Here's okay. Here's the guide. Here's the guide. Okay. So, hmm, re rewards, difficulty based rewards, hard fiscal rewards, often for hard difficulty. Is this a lot like? Is this a lot like? Um, what was that event? The soccer event a while back. The soccer event two years ago. Well, yeah, it's starting to look like a, the soccer event plus 
last year's Halloween, the old soccer event plus last year's Halloween event, all combined into one. And it's what it's complicated. What the hell? Anyway, let's. Uh, what's the use? Okay, ability. Okay, yeah, this is a lot like last year's. This is also, this is this has the mechanics of last year's. Halloween event. Okay, so I guess this is where the battle coins come into play. Okay, this is where the battle coins first comes to play. This, I think, this is. Uh, Use. Okay, so for every hit or attack, you you get the reward. Julius Caesar, Ulysses is proud. Roman Saturian. Make cazzo. Okay. Had deck. Choose a deck once you prefer level. Okay. So we've selected a deck, B E C Kai. And now okay, this is where the battle tickets now go. You know, you <coughs> excuse me. If applicable additional effect and you get that bonus damage will be done. what is this okay let's let's this let's this is that okay got got me some rewards where do we find where do we find the uh where the hell do we find the um Which one has the advantage? Which one, which one doesn't? Hmm. Okay, it's it is what it is. Just gonna have to conserve our health and energy, rather. Yeah, the ability cards are a lot like last year's Halloween event. The uh, selection of categories is a lot like the, the previous soccer format of the soccer event. Let's see how you do. Okay. Okay, this one is, this one displays the Enemy's health versus your health. Okay, so you can easily re redraw. We have an advantage over William Wa William Wallace. Okay, we've. Did we get a hit? Okay, almost a crit. Okay, so. Next up, we get the Geisha versus William Wallace. They're both. Okay, since there's no red, no green, so both are. Both are. Uh, Cancelled out and an arc. Okay. 
Okay. So for this round, we get the Mortar Garrus. Okay. This ticket, Chaos, enemy deals self damage. Takes three damage. Gain street. Okay. Let's exit. I don't have enough uh, battle coins for that. Anyway. Plunderer, Viking Rider versus John of Arc. No, okay, their advantages seem to cancel out, so let's see how you do. Holy cow. Yeah, yeah I think I made the wrong choice there. Okay, seems like we want a daily special. Okay, this one has an advantage. This one has an advantage over Sir Lancelot. Let's see how you do, mate. Hmm. was that okay nice this one has an advantage I think Let's see how you do Nice. Okay, we took we took this one down, so this one is one Milan. And you know Milan the Mulan, sorry. You know Milan from the cartoon? Yeah. This is the one. Okay. So So is this the is this the uh, major is this the last boss the boss of the deck? <sighs> Shit, they lost. Well, tough luck. We uh, lost out. Anyway, from what you've seen here. Um, yeah, I lost out because of some poor decisions on my part and selecting the selecting the type of uh, player, type of uh, cards I should have bought and the cards that I used. But anyway, I think I think that. Uh, we all get we all get the uh whoa we all get we all get the point anyway uh, so okay so seems like we found finally found the garrison upgrade kit so yeah there's the mortar garrison more Level two mortar garrison has. Where, where, where do we get the, the? Okay, I think from one of the prizes earlier. I think. Okay, the mortar garrison has. Um, gives in, gives attacking army stats for. Attacking army and 
attacking stats for attacking army, as well as for guild battlegrounds as well, and also blue stats for defending army, in guild expeditions as well as good, and it's one by one. So let so the silver version, the sterling garrison has gives a little more. The golden version. Hmm. Gives and it gives uh, artillery because and the guys at Spice Age Venus will and yeah, Spice Age Venus and uh, Virtual Future and I think a bit of an oceanic might love this anyway. What are the league rewards? League rewards, um. Is this from the fellowship of? Uh, is this the replacement for the fellowship event? Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, I think this is the uh, replacement for the fellowship event. Anyway. For gold, for gold tier, you get an epic selection kit. The bullion garrison, the gold garrison. Okay, tranquil tree are. Okay, the guide house emporium. Okay, I guess that's what I missed out. Yeah, bastion guide house and silk weavers are both guide house emporium. Uh, buildings. Okay. So we talk. So if uh, you really mastered this event and got yourself the gold, I think this one is the one that's unique. Uh, Woodland wager retreat. Just um, unlock in previous events where the gold, where those that place gold have uh, this building that produces fragments for uh, build for you know divine event price it's lo this building apparently you know the exclusive building for gold tier for gold league finishers rather gives uh, the render production now gives garrison selection kits Well, wow, this is these are unique times. Obviously, get the gold portrait as well. Silver, you get everything except the building and the portrait. Bronze, you get uh, you get everything. I mean, you get you know you get the uh, ep the uh, epic selection kit, the level two mortar garrison. And uh, loyal, loyal like Valentine selection kit for amateurs, and I think that's the one that a lot of us most likely gonna finish. Get uh, epic history selection kits and more level one motor garrison, and those on hobby get uh, just the epic selection kit. Okay. Um, so for the battle guard. Okay, so the one that Wakadudu does, the Napoleon. He was the boss. Okay, he apparently is the boss. Okay. Man, this is this is a very complicated. This is a very complicated system. Okay. Well, from my perspective, um, if it looks kind of interesting, 
I must say. Okay, so where, by the way, where do is there any room to get the oh, barnacles? Anyway, guys, if uh, you guys are willing to take the long game and not buy the battle pass, event pass rather, if if uh, you if you're trying to get fragments for the the event the main event building, it starts at two thousand four hundred eighty, and then also I get. Also get another fifty fragments at two thousand eight hundred, and uh, you get the full kit at uh, two thousand two hundred eighty. As for gold, oh, where, where is that? Um, gold. You get two tears. You get uh, you get fifty. You get fifty fragments at two thousand nine hundred sixty. Another fifty fragments at two thousand four hundred forty. And you get the full kit at two thousand seven hundred sixty. So yeah, it's a long way to go. But uh, I must say, I'm quite impressed at the pro at the. Uh, Prizes and the stats that are give, being given by the buildings, rather. Also, if you missed out on last year's golden upgrades, particularly le the legendary lodge, it's here, it's available, although you can get have to get it at 2160. Last year's uh, main event, main event uh, grand prize, the Sunhaven Palace. Um, the uh, golden upgrade of the Summerhold Manor, you get it, you start getting it at 2320. Okay, so where do we, where can we get those if we, okay. For gold, okay, for those that buy the gold and silver battle passes, you get both. If you buy the gold battle pass, you get uh, both at uh, 1,360. Excuse me. And it seems like you can get another. Sunhaven Palace at 1600. Okay. Well, anyway, if uh, if the event interests you, this event takes 20 days, and um, if you go, if you go, so luck. Well, it well you know the well. Um, the stats are impressive enough. Of the buildings I mentioned, are impressive enough. Uh, if you want, you're going you're going to have to get a little far too far to uh, maximize its benefits, especially if you're going to get the gold pass. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for this ad lib version of the history event recorded the history event so if you like what you see um, give it a look give the patch give my youtube channel a look and you give the video a like as well so thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video okay bye bye